Danny Rand. I've uh, been away a long time. Let's go. You okay, don't belong wait. here. I I'm Danny Rand. Guys, I Dude. just want to talk. I left here 10 years old in a jet with my parents. I became the lone survivor. Danny Rand, back from the dead. Why'd you wait this long to show up? How the hell did he learn martial arts? Where'd you train? Kunlun. My father instilled in me a love and respect for this company that has never faded. This is my home. Rand is my company. This city is no place for Danny Rand. We put in practice and discipline. No giving up, no giving in. We're Danny, what happened to you? Why are you really back here? Some bad people have gotten on the inside. Criminals. I know what they are, what they can do. To fight them, we need someone with special skills. I've been training my whole life for this. This is my destiny. It's time. I'm going with you. No, you're not. You need me. The change is coming, Danny. Become what you were meant to be. I am the Iron Fist. The hell does that mean? Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. So everyone's going crazy about Iron Fist. Let's break this down. Most of this is going to be about the Iron Fist trailer, what's going on during the series, but I also address crossover with Luke Cage, Heroes for Hire, in the classic comic book costume, in the other Netflix series like Defenders and Punisher, which are also dropping this year. So there is a new round of the Marvel giveaway. I'm giving away one of those Spider-Man figures. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this video. I totally like Claire Temple's introduction to this. She's kind of like the explainer character. Danny Rand says, I'm the Iron Fist. And she's like, what What the hell is that supposed to mean? So you have like a lot of people that will be watching this that have no idea what's going on with Iron Fist from the comics. So this trailer just spells it out a little bit more clearly. Danny Rand comes back after a plane crash when he was a young boy. He grew up in Kun Lun, this sort of interdimensional city. I don't know how they're going to change that for the TV show. But the way they explain his powers in the TV show is just in the harnessing of his chi. That's what you're seeing when you see his fist glow. So they're not on fire like they are in the comics. And in the comics, he got some of those powers when he plunged his fist into the heart of a dragon. So the song that they play in the trailer is a bit of a wink at that. It's Apache's I'm a Dragon. So this is meant to be a very real world iron fist. It's not exactly like the comics. There's always minor changes. So, for instance, you have the Meacham children in Danny Rand standing here as he's come back to society. Look, I'm not dead. This is partly my company. I inherited my father's shares. So now I'm co-owner with the Meachams, and they give off this really sinister vibe. But he used to be very good friends with Joy Meacham here. So you see they have like a special connection throughout the trailer. The other Meacham, Ward Meacham, doesn't like him so much. You kind of get that vibe. It's, it's pretty clear from the way they present him in the trailer. The kingpin level big bad though is Harold Meacham, Danny Rand's father's former business partner who was responsible for the plane crash. He orchestrated that so that he could take over the company. So when Danny Rand is talking about the hand infiltrating his company, like you see Harold Meacham looking at the imprint of the hand here, he's talking to Crane Mother. Rand Enterprises is very tied up with the hand. They're helping import things. You see these shipping containers with Meacham on the side. This is sort of a callback to Daredevil Season 2 when the hand was trying to import Black Sky so that they could raise the demon that they're worshipping. So now that's sort of an Elektra storyline, but that's very Daredevil centric. So now you're getting some crossover with Iron Fist. So his company is sort of the infrastructure that the Hand is using to accomplish their goals. The other villain you see him fighting here, this is sort of like the small bad, 
is Zhu Chang. In the comics, he serves as the host for this demon that's trying to get at Iron Fist's power, the source of his power, the dragon. So I don't know how they're going to incorporate the actual dragon, the source of Iron Fist's power into this. It seems like they toned that down a little bit. So maybe he just knows how to harness his chi the same way that Iron Fist does. So Zhu Chang works with Crane Mother, who's working with the Hand, who is using Harold Meacham to import all of their resources. You probably recognize Jessica Henwick as Colleen Wing, just kicking a whole lot of ass. At the end of Luke Cage, Claire Temple pulls that little tab off the martial arts lessons bulletin. That's for Colleen Wing's classes. So she teaches self-defense, but she's also this ally of Iron Fist in the comics. She doesn't have quite the mystical origin that he does, but her family descends from a line of badasses. So all this craziness is in her blood, and she does know how to harness her chi in the same way that Iron Fist does, but she's not quite as powerful. So that's probably why you don't see her fists glowing like his. But a lot of the scenes in the trailer here are stuff that they showed off at Comic-Con. Him walking in, the funny scene of him getting carted out by the security guards, just taking them down like it's nobody's business. The Iron Fist version of the Daredevil hallway fight that all the Netflix series have gotten. Luke Cage got his version of that. Iron Fist is going to have his. Them showing off a little bit about the magnitude of his power. You can see that they toned it down a little bit. He's crazy powerful in the comics. But remember, these are supposed to be street level heroes. So they toned it down just a little bit. So I would say he's about as powerful, maybe a little bit more powerful than Power Man when he's at full strength. Luke Cage is the strongest, the most indestructible. But Iron Fist hits the hardest. They could probably go toe to toe, but as we learned from Jessica Jones, you can actually hurt Luke Cage. It's just his skin that's unbreakable, not his internal organs. So it'll be fun to see them meet up on screen during Defenders. Misty Knight is supposed to have a cameo, but like I said, the love interest in this is going to be Colleen Wing. So in the way that the Luke Cage series changed a little bit about that in the comics, Misty Knight and Luke Cage weren't really a thing in the comics, but they changed that for the TV show. They're also changing Iron Fist just a little bit, but that might change when we get to Defenders. The music is going to feel very much like Luke Cage, so maybe a lot more Wu-Tang. They called Luke Cage the Wu-Tangification of the Marvel Universe. The really big thing about Iron Fist, though, is that he is the only person on the Defenders that understands the true threat that the hand poses. Daredevil has learned a little bit about it from Stick, but Iron Fist has spent way more time in Kunlun learning about the mystical war between the chaste and the hand. So he's the guy to come in and say, look, there are a lot of problems in Harlem, all over New York City, but there's this even bigger problem in this secret organization in this mystical war that we need to stop. A lot of you are asking me if Danny Rand will get his comic book costume in the way that Daredevil got a costume. Luke Cage even wore the yellow shirt for a little while. I think that there will definitely be a version of the costume. People have asked Finn Jones. He's come out and said, look, Marvel will kill me. And he just kind of jumped around a little bit. So I think that just confirms that there will be a version of the comic book costume, but it probably won't happen till the very end of the series. But like the trailer says, everything is dropping on March 17th. That's a Friday. Of course, I'll be doing episodes for it. Leave all your requests for bonus videos in the comments below. There's going to be a bunch of Iron Fist Defender stuff because Defenders is coming this summer and then the Punisher series is supposed to drop at the end of the year. So there will be three new Netflix series dropping this year. It is going to be hardcore. While you wait for that next video, you can click here to rewatch all the Super Bowl trailers and you can click here to learn about the different colors of lightning on the flash. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Let's high five. I'll see you in the next video.